What's large and burly believes dungeon in a hurry? It's Midwest Dungeon Delvers. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> it turns out that Cotton Carp has been playing him all this time. It's Taze Flips. Yarg, Taze has been alive the entire time. <laughs> She likes garden gnomes, cookies, and long Zelda streams. It's palm tree tries! <laughs> Stuck! <laughs> oh, no. Good news, everyone! It's just Super Jump! Amusing intro. <laughs> Very amusing. Very amusing. <laughs> I'm Will, your hilarious. game master who has socks on feet 23 and a half 7. It would be 24 7 if my feet were self cleaning. And this is Super Smash Quest! Yeah! Yeah! I feel like I've been on this channel before! <laughs> yeah, Boy. Slightly that different Captain context, Gar though. It's been a while. <laughs> For some reason, Will cancelled the Poker Quest line. And so I haven't been here in a long time. I don't know why. Why would you do that, Will? Why? No, 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 no. You haven't heard the news then. So someone must have like like blocked the invite. You're supposed to be coming back next month. Next month? Next month? Yeah. Ooh. What's happening next month? Next month we're having a Poke Quest one shot. A one what? A one shot! What? Whoa! <laughs> to rule the Whoa. wall, and I'm oh trying to pull up what date it is on. Wait, yeah. wait! Is that means I'm only episode? here for one episode. For one more episode, at least. I don't know. Depends on if people want more. I swear, I will come for your golden treasure. <laughs> Promise you this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hope you've been well. It's nice to see you again. Lovely to see you too, Captain. <laughs> All right. Without further ado, I'm going to start playing as Mateus again. Okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> April 27th. I finally pulled up the date. There we go. Dance hey, yeah, had. yeah, Dance has it. Yeah. <laughs> it's on the Discord. Yep. Yep. This is me. I am. Uh, I am definitely Mateus and not Captain Carp disguised. <laughs> we never know. And there is nothing confusing about the layers of meta this may or may not imply. <laughs> I mean, if Doug can traverse the multiverse, why can't Captain Carp? Yeah. <laughs> Congrats, Palm, for being I first always on Twitch. I mean, uh, Captain Carp always traverses the multiverse. Absolutely. <laughs> Taze for being first on YouTube. And congrats and welcome in Fitz Gabe. Damien with the resubscription. Thank you for that. And uh, welcome in Dan Minty and J -J -J Smit. Hello. And Stars is here. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Oh, man. <laughs> I love how everyone's favorite, um, like, tagline during the intros is always palms. That, she, that uh, palm tree uh, tries might actually try. <laughs> it's just such a good line. Whoever came up with that has got something going on. Oh, thank you. Weird. Something right in their brain. <laughs> yes. Pokemon. Yeah, one shot episode two is a good way to put it because... Um, uh, I, I I guess to kind of like um, tease it a little bit, it will be continuing where we left off from the from the first one shot, but there'll be still its own story. So yeah, how exciting! Yeah, Corgis, yo, hi friend, how you doing? Good to see you in here. Welcome in. Hi hi hi. Um yeah. But the, 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 uh, yes, um, Minty, the, uh, abbreviation, like, uh, abbreviations of, of Cursey's count as Cursey's here. Uh, but anyways, the, uh, welcome in for those that haven't been to one of these, um, to one of these tabletop RPG streams here. Do note that like I'm reading chat. I'm not always going to read it out loud. Still keep chatting. That doesn't mean you're being ignored, all right? You're loved <laughs> and appreciated. Yes. How how players? How y'all doing? 
Doing great. Doing great. It's currently alive and definitely Mateus and not Captain Carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see we'll see it'll, it'll slip <laughs> I mean I have clear water that pumps almost consistently again so I'm kind of winning at life oh yeah your well is, is working well it's working well <laughs> I hope <laughs> there you go well well isn't that swell Oh my goodness, yeah, I forgot his canonical name is Captain Park. I forgot about that one. Oh, I forgot! <laughs> <laughs> yep, in the game, it's 100% that. Yeah. <laughs> Dan's, I, I, I love that Dan's is the, like, now the, the expert fan. of the Fedorable <laughs> Will multiverse. Dan's, you incredible master, you. He is the lore keeper of your channel, Will. <laughs> yeah. Like I've got Jenkins. I imagine everyone else has one. Dan's is yours. True, true. Yeah. Uh he wasn't even around for the start of Pokey Quest, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, I saw a mention in chat a uh, wanting a whole new uh campaign for Pokey Quest. I'm with you, Dan's. Oh come on. <laughs> Pops <laughs> <comes down. laughs> Pop says no. <laughs> what if it was in fate? Then would it be thumbs up? There is actually a alternate system in Fate that uses a similar, like it's basically made for playing a Pokemon type game. As yeah, well. I will say Pokemon Tabletop United. Eh. That's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> righty. It's a lot, a lot. It truly, truly. But anyways, we'll fi we'll figure out what that what the next campaign will be in what like a year or so. Based off yeah. the regular pattern of how these go. Anyways. Or you might be watching this in the future and you already know what, what what's happening. I don't know. Like if you already know, let us know in the comments. <laughs> or we're still doing this campaign. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, who knows? Who knows? But alas, uh credits are rolling along the top of the screen. Shout outs always as especially to Taish Flips and Damien Devil for being our amazing artists. Further credits can be found if you are in chat, exercise point SSQ. Otherwise, then go to um, the comments or the, the description to get the link. It is fedorablewheel.com slash super smash quest. Woo! Um, yes. Oh, silver welcome in. Thank you for the lurk. Alrighty. Now, without further ado anizing, let's go ahead and roll for Rayquaza. Rayquaza song. Is that the Rayquaza song? Apparently. Oh my gosh, I was just oh, missing wow. a two. That's so close. Every week, every week we get one that is that is alarmingly close. Dang it. Six, seven, eight. Dang. It's a lot of I ones. <laughs> Gee whiz. One day. One, it, it is a one, one day, day, apparently, for you. <laughs> All those ones. Anyways. That's uh, not a good sign. No. That's not a great sign. Uh -oh. No. Uh, I've, and by the way, I've been rolling bad since last week, so. Uh -oh. <laughs> that's a heads up. <laughs> All right. So I, mean, I think. got to change, right? I think that we got. Um, I think I think I think last week was Midwest, so I get and Burr's not here this week, so I suppose next week. What oh, is that? A gifted submarine. Wow, that's pretty. That's pretty darn neat, ain't it? All oh, right, you, where's gifted sub on the bingo? Oh wait, oh Pong gifted no, dance. No, the Lord Keeper doesn't have one, and that's not right. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. That's true. Right. There you go. All righty. Now, uh, with 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 the rolls squared away, uh, Teus and or Captain Carp, would you like to give us a recap? Yeah, um, definitely just Teus. Definitely not Captain Carp here. <laughs> uh, so last week, essentially what our crew of misfits had gotten up to was 
interrogating some statues. Specifically some Mies that were turned into statues. But we unturned them in order to interrogate them. There was one major moment with Bob that in negotiations with Cam, Bob really didn't want to Cam to see it. Arcade underscore uh, show through 50 minutes at your face. Basically was giving the idea that Bob was going to threaten this uh, me with death. Okay. Thank you for the Baby's Arcade Show! Go ahead. Uh, gonna threaten this me with death. So Cam walked away. At which point, Bob made the absolute scariest threat I think I've ever heard anybody make before. In which he basically told this me that he was gonna make him into a statue and put a hose through him, put him in the middle of this square, which was crazy. <laughs> um, terrifying. It was absolutely terrifying. Yo, Kara! Uh, eventually, our crew got back together after learning that we needed to go to, I believe it's Venom, is the planet that we're going to. If I'm, yep. Yeah. So, right, uh, we ended up going to Perry's kind of flight base in which we met uh, Sergeant Pepper. Okay. So we met Perry's uh, sergeant. Uh, sergeant? Yeah, Sergeant Peppers. And we also found out that there is a real life Sergeant Peppers that happens to be part of uh, <laughs> the space military branch, which was <laughs> insane to learn about. So, true fact there. Yeah. Um, but. You know, our Dr. Pepper actually came before, or not Dr. Not Dr. Pepper, Sergeant Pepper. I get them all confused, guys. <laughs> Dr. Pepper! <laughs> Dr. Pepper, Sergeant Pepper, they're all the same. Uh, <laughs> so, our Sergeant Pepper actually happens to exist before the real-life Sergeant Pepper. That's besides the point. Uh, we ended up finding a couple of ships that we might be interested in, including the Fox ship, which... Cam was insisting that we take... Oh, and by the way, during this entire time that we're at the base, Gumsha ended up hiding. She was just gone for a while. Uh, Cam insisted. Perry said... Uh, and the rest of the party basically said, probably not the best idea if we want to be stealthy. Cam was sad, but Perry said, but you can go right on it. Uh, and so, Perry telling Cam to say... Uh, to write, Cam was here, Cam goes up, uh, was too nervous and just said was here and went back to the party. At which point, we hopped on a ship, we got flying. Oh, and by the way, Gucci tried to convince Bob to be on the outside of the ship for the entire trip over to Venom. Recap done. It was not the entire trip, just in case there was ever a problem, he would climb yes. the window. And you wanted him to use the sonic bow... Which would not be effective in space at all. <laughs> I didn't want these things. Who should have wanted these things? <laughs> also, uh, Chase, can you turn down your gain a little bit there? You're peeking. How's this? A little bit more. How about now? Perfect. Okay. Woo! Alrighty. Anyways. Yes, welcome, welcome in everyone in the chat. I'm going to say everyone, thank you for being there, okay? You're awesome. And everyone should go and check out your streams. I know you haven't streamed in forever, but they should go check you out anyways. <laughs> anyways, so, um, yes, that's where we last left our heroes. And you guys are boarding the spaceship. Anything guys, that you guys want to do before you take off? Any kind of shopping you want to do around town, etc.? I don't think Cam would think about it, to be honest. Um, he's here to take pictures. Do they have, like, binoculars? Like, is there, like, a cool, uh, like, space? I feel like these, these airplanes and things. I want to be able to see farther away while we're in space. I feel like that's something Goomsha would be super interested in buying. 
like a, a, a telescope, maybe. Like there, there's probably something uh, like a digital scope of some sort that say that has like you know the ability to zoom, like super super far in. I would like to buy. Wait, quick question: Are we buying off the base or are we buying from the town? So, you can you can ask around if there's equipment that you want that the base might have first. Um, if you want to go and buy stuff around town, you're welcome to leave the base to go do so. Just, I wanted to make sure for Goomsha's case, because she didn't want to be seen on the base, so she probably doesn't want to shop on the base. It's true. Thank you so much, Cam. Did you want me to go shopping for you, Goomsha? <gasps> Would ya? Yeah, I can do I that. I need something uh, to be able to see far. Okay. Can't have them sneaking up on us. Yeah. And maybe, Actually, my, maybe my you could even get like a lens on your camera thing so you could be able to take pictures of things far away. Well, I was going to say my camera has like a 20 times zoom and I kind of show the 20 times zoom off. Oh. Goes pretty far. I could look for something that does 100 times zoom. I could try to poke around for that. I mean, for your pictures, right? Right. Yeah. Right. You don't have any... Okay, yeah, Cam goes to try to get a... Wait, uh, before you go, you should also see if they have any medicine or anything. Okay. You know, just in case. Yeah, I can go do that. Rip to, um, to Burr, who is sick and can't be here. <laughs> Firefox, welcome in! And Davis, hello! So, yeah, Cam will go to get the... Try to find a hundred times zoom lens and also medicine. I had a, 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 a song picked out specifically for shopping, and I never uploaded it into Roll20. Do I even have it? Uh-oh. Uh, anyways. Um, uh, what's a good shopping song? Uh, wait, Beatles Airship? Wait, I just saw... Where'd that go? Gonna do some background music right now. Yeah, yeah we're just going for a shopping trip. A shopping trip. Hup a do 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 while Will's finding songs. It's his shopping trip. All right, there's a shopping song. There we go. Anyways, <laughs> uh, jump stack a hat. Okay. Alrighty, so, um,. <clears throat> Swaddle and chat. So the the you guys are going to what kind of, what kind of shop are you looking for? One more time. Uh, just I'm looking for a hundred times zoom lens for my camera, and I'm looking for medicine. Okay. I'm assuming if there's if the hundred times zoom lens is gonna be anywhere, I'm assuming the base would there'd be a strong chance of it being there. There there's likely some kind of like you know telescope like some kind of like it, it won't be a lens that you can use on your camera um unless you just kind of like poke your camera through the thing like kind of you know but though like i don't think that they would have stuff that you can literally just attach onto your camera like verbatim i guess um but again right. you can you can try to take a picture of the inside of a scope and it'll probably work decently um Make me a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, yeah. But the medicine. Let's go for the medicine then. Um, no, yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah. I mean, you can still look around for a uh, a, a scope of some sort. You can you can probably find one. Um, but yeah, the medicine wise, I mean. You go out to the uh, town square. Well, first, I guess let's roll to see if you get lost on your way. You don't know what what's around. You might have like you know paid a little bit of attention on the way there in the car ride, but I don't know. Did you? Let's find out. Uh, Cam, what? I feel he like was since... looking around the whole time. Yeah, I always. I mean, I'd assume that Cam actually has a very good awareness. His notice is plus four. So I'm assuming I'm always checking around me and because like photographer. Yeah, go ahead and roll that notice then. Okay. Yeah, 
Yep. You remember every single building along the way. <laughs> oh, wow. It's just that moment of like mind expansion. That was a That's crit. That's what medicine is. <laughs> that <laughs> was a you crit. Remember everything you've ever seen. Yeah. yeah. Photographic memory. Fact, I may have even noticed where <laughs> a hundred times zoom camera might be. Actually, yeah, you know, there was a shop that's like, huh? I don't know if you'd be able to read the, the you you would see some like pictures pinned up in the um in the window of like camera equipment, essentially. Although it does look a little bit more high tech. Although, like, it, it, they, they also had some pictures of some, like, kind of, like, retro stuff, essentially, you know, some, like, throwbacks and what they would probably call antique photo stuff as well. Oh, do they have, like, the little attachment for the Game Girls? Game Girls? Do you remember what? the little camera attachment that used to go on the Game Girls? Game Girls? Is a game girl that. like it's, the Canadian it, the, version of a game girl? No, the ga game girl. I'm saying game girl because oh. everything is a. Oh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Game Boy doesn't exist in this world. It's actually a game girl. Oh, that's right. Um, but yeah, I, I'm assuming it's got like one of those that can insert into the oh, game girl back. <laughs> I remember those. <laughs> somebody <laughs> does. <laughs> Um, be Wait, based on William your... Palm, do you actually not know what I'm talking about? A Game Boy, right? Yeah, but the Game Boy, there was actually this little cartridge that you could get that had a camera on it. And you could put it into the Game Boy and take pictures with it. I believe what? you, but I don't remember this. Well, yeah, you wouldn't because it was like 90s, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Way back. <laughs> It was short-lived. It, it was short-lived short as well. Tays, I think you're only like two years older than me. I'm... No? Well, maybe. maybe. I'm 30. Yeah. So... <laughs> is it only two years? Uh... Rounded, I guess. I think I thought it'd be three. I just know about history stuff more, I guess. Well, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> like, <laughs> I like my game history. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Gamer. And and cartoon history. I'll hey, take both. I'll take either way. Not a bad thing to like. Um, but yeah. Uh yeah, I'll get the camera lens and the potions and I'll head back. Alright, well roll resources to see if you can afford such. Hey y'all! This is not a good stat on my part. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you. Can can I assist him? Because I would have given him some money when I sent him on errands on my behalf. Um. Yes. You may. You may assist with with a. Uh, you may make the resource roll. Oh, Gumsha's gonna make it. Will we both make it and add it together or something? Uh. uh, uh, uh well, I was thinking that I could roll it and add plus two. Yeah, or that. How wait wait how what what is your resources at there, Palm? I have mediocre resources. <laughs> I mean, I don't that's think, the same I as don't me. Think it would be a plus the same. I'll let you both roll though. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. Yeah, that okay. seems right. <laughs> I, I mean, remember where it was, but they're out of stock. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not that the round is stock, it's just that, oh yeah, I don't have any cash. Yeah. There was a reason that I broke into the Smash tournament. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to steal it. <laughs> that is okay. technically an option. I will be just heading back to let Goomsha know that, like, I couldn't afford it. Well, if you can't afford it, then we gotta steal it. I don't agree with this at all. <laughs> now that's a very quick way to get a lot of eyes on us. That's also true. Well, then we'll just have to be sneaky about it. I feel like Derek's would be willing to become the sugar daddy. Let me see if he can afford it. <laughs> his, if his resource skill is good. Enough. Come on, Derek's. Be sugar daddy. Let's go. <laughs> His, First, gonna come in next week, and I'm gonna say, "Sugar Daddy, is zero. That's right. 
His resources is zero, and he still rolled better than y'all. Zero for our resources? Yeah. Oh, that's not great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, actually, hey, Perry. Yes? Um, I just realized, and I think we're all kind of realizing, we don't have very much money. <laughs> Could, is there any chance? You know what? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I just walk away. Wig. Does that mean you're rich? What was that? Your brother's a big wig. Does that mean you're like rich or something? I don't think he wears any wigs, but as far <laughs> as, as, far as Got his. Him. Funding is concerned. That's not something that we discuss usually. What about you? I want to discuss it with you. I, though I appreciate that you think <laughs> that an academy cadet has deep pockets. I assure you that is not the case. Can we get some character art pulled up real quick? <laughs> Does he, in fact, have deep pockets? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know if I really drew him with many pockets. Because, <laughs> basically, he has a jumpsuit on with a jacket over top. Oh, that's Does funny. Does the jacket have pockets? Because it's a jumpsuit in my name. Is... Anyway. <laughs> 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 That's a good point. Those there. look like pockets to me. No, he's got stuff strapped to his side. Does that? It's like it's, it's like mm -hmm. a a bad pocket that can only do one thing. Drat. Well. Anyways. Hey, you over there? Body <laughs> opponent bag. Yeah. I got a what? proposition for you. I'm what? assuming you don't have much money on you, right? I pull out the two pennies that I picked up off the ground as I left the gym. I got an idea, and I'm going to ask you before I do it, because I respect you. Okay, sure, because I remember last week we was about to run the fade, but okay. <laughs> we make a punching booth. They punch you for a dollar. <laughs> We're gonna go! We're gonna go! We're gonna leave! Let's leave! We're done! We don't need the stuff! Let's go! Derek chimes go. in, I have enough to afford some of the medical supplies a bit, but I don't think I can afford your antique. That's... It's... <sighs> Not antique, first of all. <laughs> Just everything here happens to be futuristic. Big difference. Secondly... <laughs> Medicine's fine. Let's just go with that. I have a 20 times zoom on my my camera. It's fine. We don't need extra zoom than that. All right. Sounds good. All right. So, um, Derek's. Why I is like Derek's that? I like that. I stated that, and Will just agreed with me. <laughs> 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 that sounds right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're, yeah. Oh boy. Uh. But anyways, the um, uh, so yeah, you guys go and uh, get some medicine, and um, I, I guess just like a uh, are are you, what were you looking for for medicine? Like just like a first aid kit? What specifically? Um, I think a healing pack of some kind. Yeah. Because yeah. like. Don't they have in those games like just healing packs that it's like you press a button and it heals you up anyway? Oh, is that the case? I think so. Hypothetically, its mechanical effect would be relieving a minor stress. Yeah. Jumps as the expert. Is that a thing in the game? <laughs> in the two Star Foxes I've played, you're primarily in ships. So as far as how to heal a person, that wouldn't have come up until maybe Star Fox Adventures and I actually don't know. Star Fox Adventures has like little health seeds and stuff, and then Star Fox Assault has health packs. Uh, yeah. 
it's whatever. Okay. Health packs, yes. So there's probably I I would see there being reason for there to be a few health packs already on the ship, maybe. Um like first aid kit? Like first aid kit, some health some of these health packs that you mentioned, like a like probably like maybe like I don't know, we can roll to see how many are on there. I'll 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 make yeah. a resources roll and I'll Use the use the fate dice that I that I Yo, bought. No, those are the same kind of dice too. <laughs> nice, yeah, yeah. Literally just just so that I like I I I I like doing the digital so that people can see it on the screen. But I I bought these and I want to use them just once. So <laughs> absolutely, we should do more like dice camera stuff. That would be amazing. Dice camera. That is three minuses. Negative three. Four minuses? That's three yeah. minuses. So three minuses and a blank. There's like one kid on the ship. <laughs> That's pretty neat. All that in itself is cause for stress. Yeah. Tilt back. There we go. Presumably the ship would have like ship repair things on it. Like if say the ship got blasted by something or something within it enlarged big enough to burst through it. Sure, but there's difference between ship repair and person repair. Oh, no, no, I know. I'm just like going through the list in my head of like various things that we might need. Oh, I see, I see, I see. There's another thing we might need. A spare wheel. <laughs> yeah, you know, some good duct tape. Like some really good duct tape. No. <laughs> some like antifreeze, maybe. I think we'll be fine. Ginger we'll oil. be. We we buy some extra med packs because yeah. uh. Burr's character. Why am I forgetting his name? Derek's. Derek's. Thank you. I wanted to say Wix, and I was like, no, that's a web building website. <laughs> <laughs> not sponsored. That's not the same. <laughs> Yeah, no. Derek said he could buy us a couple more med packs, so let's just go with that and head out. Instead of spending a whole nother session talking about <laughs> what we're gonna do to our ship and what we're gonna buy. Fair, fair. Um, yeah. Uh, you do so. So you just bought you just buy an additional med pack w with Derek's resources. Uh, Derek's resources. <laughs> Try to say that five times fast. Um, no. <laughs> I feel like I don't think into something wants, not great. I don't think anyone wants that challenge. Yeah, <laughs> nope, I'm good. <laughs> um, and after that, I suppose y'all get on board and start heading out. Woo, into the great space. You know, they say it's a frontier of some sort. In space. Yeah. All right. All right. So, y'all are in space. You can move yourselves around to wherever you might be within the ship's, like, kind of, uh, you know, area here. But, though, it's a nice little, like, uh, uh, you know, it, it is meant to just transport soldiers quickly. There's some places that you can just kind of, like, strap in for the ride. They're like not the most comfortable seats, but they, you know, they're 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 decent. And then there is a um, a like little computer off to the side, probably around where Cam's icon presently is, to like man a weapon. And then Perry's obviously in the, in the, in the front cabin. Okay. Okay, so. We're gonna go to Venom. We're gonna see what's happening. I totally forgot to ask. Hey, Perry. Do we need, like, protective anti Venom gear? We have everything that we need here on the ship for that, so we're in a good spot. Okay. Whatever Will decides that that is, we should have. Gas masks. Sure. Okay. 
I don't know. Is the poison on Venom more of a like gas mask type or a hazmat suit type? I don't. I don't even know if it is. Like, right. I was like, it might not even be poisonous at all. But it might just be the name. No, no, it was. I, 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 I was reading the lore on it. It at one point was poisonous, and then it became like it. And so they, they, they tossed Andros there. And um, as like an exile or whatever, and then he like he like made his own base underground in there, and then eventually the the planet just kind of turned into his base essentially. I I saw okay. one of the images; it looked like a Death Star. I don't know if that's accurate or not, or if that was like a, if, if that's the latest lore. I don't know. Is that true? The the atmosphere is highly unbreathable as there's barely any oxygen whatsoever and it's covered with a very thick smog. Okay, so we need like an actual spacesuit kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, an oxygen tank, yeah. If you need to breathe. We still don't know. I We don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. That's the case or not. Know. So I don't know if that's going to fit all of our faces. It's made for bird faces. And various other I mean, beings. Animals. To be fair, you just need the Maybe mask, like, don't you? We could we could fashion like an ad adapter or something, probably. There probably are various adapters for various different types of like animal faces. Uh, good, good. Yeah. You, you get the one for frogs, I think. Who are you has calling the... a frog? <laughs> I'm calling you a frog. I'm just saying that, like the the face head mask thing could uh -huh. just kind of go uh -huh. on top of you. No wait, Cam's got a point. It's perfectly fair. I don't like you all ganging up on me. That's not how I this is that. to go. Augie with the Risa. That's pretty. That's so neat. Thank you, Augie. How you doing, friend? Uh, I think I just find a suit that's like, oh, this looks like it'll fit, fit perfectly, uh, but it has a tail on it, because it's for a monkey, typically. <laughs> 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 it's like, all right. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you do so. Well, I don't know if you need full suits. You might just need like a helmet, essentially. A helmet and an oxygen tank. Cause it's not like you need to like it's the pressure on it is probably not the problem. It's just you need air. Oh, fair point. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. we're all suited up. So, how long uh, is it gonna take to get the venom there? It's. Um, it's pretty. It is pretty distant. I, I, I will. I will say that, and I guess you can relay uh, relay that as Perry. Yeah, it's a little ways out. It's not a five minute jaunt by any means. Hopefully, we can hit a wormhole in Sector X and hop over there pretty quickly. But it's hard to get to. I right. don't know if this vehicle can even navigate it. We'll see how it goes. Do you need any of us? like managing anything to help out if we come under fire need someone to man the guns i may need to rig together some explosives i don't think this ship is really missile capable smart bomb capable but we should need be somebody fine. to like help with navigation or yeah. sensors eric's is the co-pilot Wait, Derek's is the co-pilot? Wasn't he? Or was that you who said that? I, I should probably be the co-pilot because I have the highest drive out of the yeah. rest of the characters. Yeah. Oh, okay. I may have misheard. Misremembered. Uh, hmm. Alright, great. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll uh, yeah, do that. I am checking sensors every like three minutes because I'm like, something's going to hit us because it's just been bad luck since the tournament thus far. So... <laughs> Okay, and you're probably the best suited since your since your you know world has you know actual technology that is yeah. a, at least at least adjacent to what you're seeing here. So 
I'll I'll definitely allow it. Um, go ahead and roll. I suppose drive, I, since this is a vehicle. <laughs> Uh, is it notice because I'm using sensors? Uh, I'll allow that, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Fantastic six! six. Ooh. Nice. Get that wormhole! <laughs> yeah, no, you you see you see some um something that um you know an object an object is kind of starting to come towards you guys on um on on the radar oh hey Perry, something's coming up uh, oh i see it good eye and then and then you hear coming over the um cu cu coming over the um on the radio cortana put me through already ahead of you chief no! 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 What? I this need is... a moment. I need a moment. Give me a moment here. I thought we were just doing Nintendo games. This is Spartan what? 117. Who is this oh, ship that's beautiful. that is approaching? This is Perry Lombardi with the Federation Space Force. Sir. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm afraid that uh, no one is allowed in this in this segment other than other than those with the me army. I'm going to have to ask that you turn around or you're going to, have to oh, you find out what, what happens next. Requesting permission to approach the wormhole for a quick travel to Venom. That by no means. That is exactly what uh, what what you are not allowed to do. I'm afraid you have to turn around. You do not have clearance. Hey, well, mm -hmm. I know this might be a far attempt, but I think like there's advanced enough technology that there's like screen relays and stuff. Can I try to log into our screen relay with them and see if we can actually get a video conference going? A visual? Yes, you may. Yeah. Uh, is there anything you need me to roll? No, I'm just going to do know? it. Because <laughs> I want to see happen. this. Because I know, I'm pretty sure I know what you've done. <laughs> I just need visual confirmation <laughs> of it. Um. Yep. So this is the Spartan, me, Master Chief. Uh, <laughs> 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 a... And then the... Uh, and then, you know, everyone's favorite, Cortana. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Cortana, like, the bot? Yeah. yeah. No, no, so like, have like, you you like have you heard of the Halo series, Palm? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. both these characters are from that. Oh. Yeah, so Cortana, which is, I know is like a Windows thing now, is actually originally from those video games. Oh. Thank you for explaining. Yeah, no, I could totally see why that would be like <laughs> jarring if you didn't know about the Halo games. I saw that Smash 4 had a like Spartan helmet costume and was like, this is perfect. You, <laughs> no, that makes sense. lad. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Yo, I'm fun, just... fun, welcome in. How you doing there, friend? Perry, this is kind of the same people that we dealt with earlier. We should just kind of go, I think. Yeah, that's for the best. This you want to go? I thought of... we were going to Venom. Can that's I like try for... and like headbutt the seat to make them like accidentally drive forward like I did with Cam last time? Drive forward? I don't know if the controls will be the same for this. I don't think they would be at no. all. You too. <laughs> I mean, inertia and how there's no resistance in space, we pretty much stopped, like, engines or anything. We're kind of just drifting in that direction, so pushing anything wouldn't really make any changes yet. I guess I just look stupid when I try. I mean, go for it. <laughs> I ram into your seat. <laughs> what do you mean we're turning around? 
We're not turning around, Goomsha. <laughs> so you lied to him? Kid, you got good! I didn't, I didn't lie. think you had that in you. I wasn't talking to those people. I have, the, I have it on mute right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you don't know this stuff. Okay. Um, um, Cam, you see on the radar, there seems to be something, there seems to be something kind of like close and approaching on the radar, but though you can't, like, you, you try to look around, like, out the windows and you're not sure where it is. Does it look like it's flanking from, like, a side or is it coming from under or top? Um, flank. Uh, no, it's coming, it's coming head on. Head on? Another bogey inbound parry. Oh, I said bogey. <laughs> another <one? laughs> yeah another one and I then you guys see of kind of materialize in front of you as if some kind of like invisibility spell or, or cloak of some sort has been has been removed from it like it kind of like you know kind of like fades in uh, bit by bit you know wipes in star wipe um <laughs> Um, uh, and, and, and you see this, like, giant kind of, like, purple alien-looking ship, um, with, uh, with, with, with these two me's kind of, like, uh, manning it in the pilot and co-pilot seats, respectively. Um, and you hear, and you, and you hear him, um, him say, This is your last warning. Turn around now, or we will engage. Understood. We're uh making the about face. Okay. Uh, do you I do turn so? Off, uh, communications. Which seat is the guns? Yes, you turn off the communications, and the uh, gun seat would be next to Cam. All right. I guess. Guys, we don't want this need problem. Someone to man that. Just be prepared for it. We don't need to make fire right away. They're just going to be Cam. I don't want to hurt nobody. Yeah, we're just going to beeline for the thing. Because we... Happening. Perry already told them that we're turning back, right? Yeah. Yeah. This ship is not meant for dealing damage. It, it but can. is it meant for taking damage? Uh, well, I'm sure they'll prove that point if we keep this trajectory. I mean, we just say that you said we're floating in a forward momentum. We say the engine failed and we keep afloat. I'd be concerned that they can run long-range diagnostics and see that's not actually the case. I don't trust my let's, ability to trick their systems that well. Let's just follow Perry's lead for now. All right, all right. We'll follow Perry's lead. All right, what do you do? Brake left, engines on. Turn around, veer away from these dudes. All right. Uh, I guess roll drive. Uh, am I assisting in this case? Um, you can. It's if okay can, if I'm not. If you can, if you if you can ha if you have a like in in game explanation as to how you're helping, I would be figuring that since I'm like on um on scanners and everything, I can help with like navigation aspects like that like what are the best engines to place on right now kind of sure. what Is might it... be like the best thing position for us to prevent major damage well with a fantastic that um that that um jumps just rolled um yeah like yeah we we can absolutely say in game that that's that's that those are absolutely the things you're doing but i, I don't need you to roll because his yeah. role is already adequate um you, yeah, you, you you definitely make that about face, and you start and you start heading away. And Cam, you see that as you as you are as you are heading away, a miss a, a like missile of some sort does get fired from the enemy ship, despite you now having turned. Okay, missiles incoming. We should take some evasive actions right now. Can I shoot the missile? You can try to mi roll. Yes, you may roll to missile the missile. Um, which, since this is technology, well, 
You. Mm. I would say this is probably. Okay, so I replaced the shoot stats with special. So you could roll special for this. Okay. Rolling special. Alrighty. With a good um hmm, I'll I will roll for, for their missile and we'll see who rolls higher. Oh no! Yeah, no, you definitely beat out their missile. <laughs> yeah, I just want to uh, shoot any projectiles they shoot uh, coming our way. I don't even want to shoot at them. Oh man, they need business. We got a full throttle out of here, guys. Harry, your your driving's good enough so far. Get us out of here. We should not find be anyone in the galaxy the... faster than me. Was there? There was a wormhole nearby, though, wasn't there? Yes. On the, uh, they're kind of blocking the way. Um, you could try to get around them. I mean, the space is three D. There's a yeah, lot of options on how to get, get around them. Under them. Yeah. Yeah. Just the one ship. That you can see. You do know that this was invisible a moment ago. But it was picked up by our sensors. That's true. That's true. Yeah, and we don't have anything else being picked up on the sensors yet. So one ship so far. All right, let's go for it. All right. Roll drive there, please. All right. Let me get this baby in high gear. Cam adjust scanners to intensify and focus in the direction of the wormhole. See if there are any other ships that need to be uh, located. Doing it now. Excellent. Bob, man, the guns. I'm on it. All right, and mushroom um, moral support. You got this, guys! <laughs> the one thing work. I suppose. So it shoots. Derek, Derek chiming in. I suppose I will also <laughs> join on the moral support front. <laughs> Beautiful. I like to think that Derek starts leading us in like a chanting song sort of situation. Absolutely. And I, I <laughs> yeah, once Burr gets back, we'll have him uh, sing, sing it for us. <laughs> there it is. Um, cool. All right. Oh, a legendary eight. Let's go. You manage to maneuver your way. Um, full, you 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 kick on that engine full throttle. Manage to uh, uh, kind of like just swoop right over, leaving leaving just enough clearance um, over top of their ship to to not to not scrape up against them. But you know, still keeping it close and 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 and. Uh, and so, so that you can make the like you know shortest line possible to get to the wormhole, um, and and you and you do so expertly maneuvering your way into the wormhole. At which point, Teus, um, yes. you do see on the on the radar, uh, like you uh, can I get you to roll? Notice. I get yeah, notice. <laughs> That's a fair. Okay. okay, you notice once you are in the wormhole, but though like so you but though thankfully not you, you do have some time to react You're it's you're still in the wormhole when you see this um, But you know that once you get out of this wormhole there does seem to be some ships on the other side uh, Quick heads up Harry. There's gonna be more ships on the other side I can keep it together Ooh. <laughs> You got this, Cam. Come on, kid, do it for Flashy. Excellent. Flashy, right. Okay. And here I thought this was going to be boring. Uh, hey, Will. There's one thing I want to do. Uh, did anybody else look at that, like, spaceship? It kind of looked like an Orbeetle. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me it's best stat, Will. The, sh the ship stats? Yeah. 
<laughs> Tell me what's going on. Drive. I don't know. Drive. Drive? Okay. <laughs> I just wasn't sure if like special was going to be like high on them as well or something like that. So I wanted to double check. <laughs> fair, fair. That was good, Tails. You sure know your Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie, I usually just Google when I'm like, that kind of looks like a thing that I think I know, and then I just start Googling the names. Alright, you what guys What is the beetle-shaped get... Pokemon called? You guys get to the other side of the worm- uh, So what are you guys doing as you're in the wormhole in preparation for that? Goomsha, you take the guns. I'll prep for uh, leaving the ship if I have to. All right, you want to take this? And I pull out the sonic bow thing. <laughs> yeah, I strap it to my back. <laughs> Wait, you never know when it might come in handy, right? <laughs> I Derek uh, chimes in, I still don't think that will work in space. Not in space, in their ship. Hey, Will, I have a quick question. Yeah. Uh, does our ship have a window? Like, is there kind of a window on the front? Are oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all, I have a plan that's probably crazy, but I think it'll work. Y'all, uh, as soon as we get out of that, out of this wormhole, close your eyes. Yes. And I'm gonna get ready for flash photography to blind them all <laughs> when we get out on the other side. Let's go. I have the same plan, what do you have in mind? <sighs> All Sorry? Right. I had the same plan. How did you want to tackle this? Okay, so plan is, uh, as soon as we get through the wormhole, Flashy here and I, we're going to do one of our special moves, which is going to create this blinding light that should kind of temporarily make it hard for them to see us at all. Or at the very least, stun them in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> and we should be able to move past them fairly quickly. I like the kid's plan. He's got guts. I like it. Good gumption. I, I also like this plan. As I move to the airlock. <laughs> hey, bye. I, I, I point over. Get back. No, I, hey, I'm staying here just in case. Let, let's not have a repeat of the Rainbow Road incident where we had to go and fetch everyone from space. <laughs> this You're is right. this is a little different than last time. You're right. I'm just standing here just in case. Uh, Perry, what were you thinking? I was thinking, we'll need what you're saying. I don't know if the effects of that are gonna allow us to blow past them. So how about we do this in two parts? Because what you're saying is gonna cover the gaps in my plan. Okay. Just before we exit the wormhole, we fire a smart bomb out through it. They're not expecting that. They don't even see us. They just, bomb goes through. We detonate it. As it gets close to them, it's, it won't do enough damage to break the ships. But what it'll do is leave that flash of light. We can like shoot past it. And as we get really close to them, that gives us some cover. They don't know what's happening. We're on top of them. And then you pull your stunts, disrupt them, their sensors, their vision. We can pass right under them and make our escape to Venom. Okay. Let us, my plan will let us get close. Yours will let them pass by. Okay. Let us pass by. I was wondering how on earth y'all were going to get creative with this. I'm impressed. I, yes. I'm so proud Cam of you is guys. like weirdly competent. <laughs> he has no self confidence, but he is competent. This is the one thing he's good at. He can do this. Yep, making bright flashing lights. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was thinking more area damage, but I guess. Oh, yeah, sure. That, that too. Works too. Yeah. Jumps, can I have you roll special for your bomb and uh Teus, go ahead and roll for your for for your move. Okay. That's a good on my end. That's a good. Take I was it. gonna say, I don't know if this is in our favor or not, but Bob's manning the guns. I'm manning the guns. Oh, you're manning I switched the guns? with I, I switched oh, with Goomsha. All right. Gumsha's got good special too. Yep. 
Yeah, she's got good special. She's got plus three special. All right, then roll it. All right. Um, I would also actually like to add plus two to mine just to make sure I really hit it tight with by spending a fate point. Fate point. But I'm right. a photographer. I'm. This is what I do. So that'll be a five total on my end. Okay. Yeah, and then I'll have them each roll to try to counter, I guess, for each of those individually. So you have two chances to um, to have them lose here, essentially. Alrighty, so I guess their resistances to the, um, to the bomb I'll do first. Wait, that's a D. That's D four. I didn't roll D four. Yeah, that's Hold not on. correct. <laughs> there we go. Um, so that uh, is a two. If you spent, so that if you there. Spend two if you spend the fade point, it will it will tie on that. But don't... I don't think I have an aspect that's relevant. Why did I roll a D four again? How did I manage this? Good point. Yeah, if you don't have an aspect that's relevant, it may not. Oh, that's true, that's true. Um, okay, so the bomb, the bomb misses all of them. That's how I'm So we might take some shots before my thing gets, happens then. Smart bombs give a, like a, kind of a big flash of light. Not enough that's to blind, true. but. Perry rolled an eight, didn't he? No, 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 that was against no, your that was two. Drive. Oh, gotcha, okay. It was like, that should have worked. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm hoping that we can follow the bomb so that it explodes and then we can pass right past where the explosion was just after it clears. So, yeah. It's distracting. Yeah. I'm going to have them each roll now against the flash. Oh, that's, that's a success for one. Ooh. That's still a success, right? You rolled a, you rolled a five, yeah, yeah. That's I did a five on mine, and another four off them. All three Why successes they... with the so, com yeah. combined. Technically, flash photography doesn't blind; it does stun, though. So that's technically what's happening there. Yeah, nice. Between the like, you know, the the flashing light off the um, off the bomb that they see, it, uh, that that kind of distracts them, and then the uh, that you know it brings their attention to one point, and then they see that big blinding light um, that uh, yeah. uh, just. I'm just after. like everybody, close your eyes. <laughs> just so I pull my hood over my cape, and I kind of like peek a little bit. That's why my aim is so bad. Flash <laughs> is I'm looking out the back at the ship that may be pursuing us. I don't know. You do see on the radar that something entered the wormhole. Yeah, it's still following, but that's okay. We got past three of them. Yep. Yeah. So with with this, you are yeah you able you are able to like just kind of skeet on past these three for sure. Hmm. There you go. Good job there, team. Woo! All right. And then at, um, as you as 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 you start to as you like kind of clear past them, that's when um, the the ship with with the master chief comes out of the wormhole and is uh, and is visible once once again on 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 your uh, on your sixes. Hey guys, hate to break it to you, but we still got one on our tail. Mm. Well, well, we picked this ship because it's fast, right? It's the fastest one that allowed for all of us to travel on it. You think we can outrun him, all bird brain? You know, we don't have much of a choice, so the answer is yes. All right. It's a contest of speed. Let me, let's get some some contesting drive rolls. I uh, I make myself tiny so that I weigh less. I'm just trying to. We don't have windows on the back of our ship, hey. 
You have radar. Okay, don't worry about it. I, I had a thought, but it won't work in this case. Um, you know, just give me a straight luck check to see if there is such a window. Sure. So, solid in between. Yeah, no, I'm going to say no on that. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> All right, so... Hypothetically... Oh, wait, what were you going to say? Master Chief rolled a four. Um, so, um, uh, if, if, uh, Perry wants to roll a, uh, a, a drive roll in contest to that four. A tie. I, d I, who's the attacker? Cause you're, does, I does like the runaway. Oh, oh does, I think in this case, we'd probably go with the drive modifiers, right? To. So whoever has the dri higher drive modifier wins. Mine's plus or three. They don't. Or maybe they just don't catch up, but we can't shake them, and they're just at whatever distance. That's a good point too. That no, that's that makes better, yeah. that makes more sense. Yeah, they're able, they like they ain't gaining on you, but they also ain't uh, you ain't losing them. Yeah. Hey, um, Harry, this thing runs on electricity, right? Sure. <laughs> well, I'm just wondering if it got more electricity, could it go faster? I don't think that's going to work the way you think it's going to work. <laughs> Fair enough! <laughs> what if oh, there was a giant oversized mushroom either pushing it from behind or pulling ahead? <laughs> that definitely won't work. Using a special battering ram move. Uh, what, you in, know what? These are, these are in, actually class 372 Mark III engines. They're not limited by what they can do. These things can output. I don't know if this ship actually has the energy to max them out. Maybe we do put something into it. Okay. Um. Yeah, we could try it. Hey, Flashy! <laughs> you ready to try something crazy? <laughs> okay, go follow Goomsha! Go um, I still you don't think do that you guys understand system. space. I don't think we should have the mushroom go out back. No, no, no. We just need Flashy to supercharge the engine batteries. That I can agree to, but um, Goomsha, please stay in the ship. Do not take Flashy outside, Groomsha! I am trusting you! Do not take Flashy outside! What kind Good. of you think I am? I don't know! You asked one of our friends to go outside before! It wasn't Flashy! He's a little guy! But Bob's kind of just a little guy. And hard. Bob's different. <laughs> it's okay. Bob's already been burned by this world. Little Flashy has. <laughs> Oh, I got morals. True words have okay. not been spoken. <laughs> okay. Come on, what kind of anyway? So where? Uh, Everybody else where has been burnt already. Where is the uh, engine space I need to take Flashy to? I don't know the it back. It would be outside, wouldn't it? No. No, it'd be, be beside the engines in the back. Yeah. All right, I feel like yeah. mushrooms are super shock resistant, so we're gonna, I'm gonna get all up in there with him. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Little zappy zappy, let's go. Cam, what are you doing? I'm here with you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna work on a backup plan. Take the, take the helm. Yeah, okay. Oh? I will get onto the helm. Well, I mean, you just... You can just hit the button to take over. It's like we're in okay. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just I just go straight, right? Co-pilot mode engage. <laughs> I mean, just, you know, don't don't hit the the things. Just you know, I'm... just keep us alive. You're good. You're good. I love I what know. Bob said, where it's like, yeah, Perry just actually activated an autopilot that's doing most of the work. <laughs> it's like. Total trust in you, Cam. Autopilot take over. 
<laughs> it's, yeah, it's, yeah, like, it's, like, it's like in Mario Kart putting on the like baby mode for your little brother. Yeah. <laughs> Put the training wheels on the ship. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's just right at the engines, two little training wheels come out. <laughs> <laughs> little Flash, he sees the two training wheels pop out of the two engines that we're working on. It's like, <laughs> like, yeah, your dude's driving the ship, little guy. That's how you know I'm trying to <laughs> Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. Bzz, bzz, bzz. He's kind of freaking out. I'm like, it's all right. Just keep doing the zappy zap into the, the, the thing. This is the right thing, right? Yes. <laughs> so, okay, really let me reorient. I am currently driving the ship. Yes. Bob is in the back, no longer on guns, so we don't have anybody on guns right now. Correct. Correct. Okay. Goom shows in the engines and what was Perry doing? Perry was getting up to move, I know that, but... Yeah, what was Perry doing? Well, I was... gonna see if I can modify one of the smart bombs to... also... emit... something similar to an EMP. So we can shoot it behind us and maybe disrupt the engines nice. of anything passing through. Good idea. Hmm. Yes, it's you not may. Not like explosive technology like we have, so I don't imagine it's something that would just accidentally blow up inside the ship. I, I think the consequence of failure might just be that it stops working forever. It, yeah. Yeah. I feel yeah. Like yeah. That's not the case. My character would know that and not do it. Roll crafts. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, we got this. You know what you're doing over there, bird brain? Absolutely. And welcome, man. Hi. Stack a hat there, jumps. All righty. With that, yes, you are able to kind of like make a little EMP thing out of what you got. Um, were you waiting for, uh, for, 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 uh, I almost said Sparky, for Flashy to do his thing first, or were you wanting to do that? Uh, were you, were, who, who, who would you prefer to go first? This is a hundred percent Perry's choice, I'm assuming. I was saving this as a backup plan in case this plan doesn't work, their plan, and we can't outmaneuver them with this extra bit of speed, then this will be our option. Okay. All right. You may, um, Teus, can I have you roll special for on, on behalf of Flashy? Okay. Uh, absolutely. I got a hat stack, it looks like. Yes, indeed. That's a good, that's a good. That is a good, and it is the what good the that you guy. needed, the the just enough to be able to actually do no. something good. Blow up these engines. Yes. <laughs> and I am assuming I need to do drive as well, right? For yourself? Yeah, I suppose. Um, can I get a bonus to drive since Flashy is boosting up our engines a bit? And the co-pilot took over. <laughs> I would say, I would say, here, let, let me see what you roll first. Sure. Yeah. I, I, I would say because you have the co-pilot going on and because, yes, you have the boost and stuff, um, like, you, as long as you didn't roll negative, that's all I cared about. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Alrighty, but yes, the, um, yo, Tonacity in chat as well, welcome in. Just kind of, <laughs> I think everybody gets kind of whiplash a little bit as, Whoa! Every ship as we fly. <laughs> yes, the ship suddenly juts forward, you can feel the force of the engines kind of like kicking in further, um, and, and, um, is, uh, jumps are you going to are you going to have Perry shoot off the thing or now this is successful you're going to hold it 
I want to hang on to it. We may need it. Fair enough. Harry, do you want to switch spots with me? I mean, I'll go back to my spot and just take over the controls. Yeah. Symbolically, yes. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks for that. Good job. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. So you guys, you guys uh, go ahead and do that. And you have, and, and as, as the ship starts to blast off away, you are able, you, um, you, you see uh, on the, on the radar, that dot starts to get further and further away from, from the ship until it is completely off of the radar altogether. You have successfully evaded me, Master Chief and me, Cortana. Yay! So the best kind of fighting style is evasion, eh? All right. Usually, usually the best huh. kind. Yeah. And I, I scrawl some notes in the uh, little letter that I'm writing. Fascinating. In fact, getting away from bad and awkward situations is kind of my specialty. Hmm. I mean, I get into them first, but I'm very good at getting out of them. Interesting new fighting style. Evasion. <laughs> it, it, it is always preferable to not take damage. One, one could say that it, the, the longer you're able to go without taking damage, the more you're able to deal damage to others. It's, uh, it's no kind of life, let me tell you. Sometimes... Not losing is more important than winning. That. That. I'm okay with that. That's essentially my life goal. So how far out are we? <laughs> That's a good question. I'll check the sensors. Am I seeing Venom coming up? Yeah, within within a uh, within just like about uh, two minutes of a drive. All right, we're almost there, like very shortly. So, uh, we need to. Is there a way for me to pinpoint, like, on this planet where we need to go in particular? Oh, you guys have no idea. Great. We we didn't bother to get any of that information. Nope, we did not. <laughs> Do you want me to open comms to um, Sergeant Pepper? See if he can give us some intel. Uh, planet's largely uninhabited. Uh, yeah, navigate that idea. Tatunka, welcome man. Good to see you in here. Hello. So that's a yes to opening comms. Yeah, you can yeah. put that request through. I look at all the buttons. I open comms to Sergeant Pepper. And I'm going to scan the planet to see if I detect any unusual activity. Tayus, can I have you roll? Hmm. Uh, special drive? Special or drive? Your choice. I will do special. Fair. All uh, right, you managed to call the right number. That's all. That's all I was trying to see. Great. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, uh, well, you so you reach an operator. Um, I'll, I'll I'll say with a fair, you reach an operator. Um, um, this is this is base. Um, um, uh, come in. Hi, can we get uh, patched into uh, Sergeant Pepper? What's your call signature? Uh, I pull up my badge and read off the number tag on my badge. <laughs> That's an unrecognized number within our system. Okay, give me one second. Perry! Yes, they're asking for numbers. 
Call sign? I think call they said call sign. What's your boss's number, uh, Bird Brain? Oh, let me transmit that. Type some stuff in to send to base. Ah, we we've received a call signature. All right, I'll patch you through. Thank you. Gosh, this will be great on my resume. Hey, Will. Yeah. Play a crab rave on Roll Twenty. Oh wait, where did? Oh, it did get redeemed. Oh, whoopsies. <laughs> I missed that. I have to manually trigger it in roll 20 for everyone to be able to hear. Yeah, oh, you got, you got your hands ready? There we go. That was fun. <laughs> I hope that was worth the three minute wait. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, yes. Um, uh, 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 this is, this is, this is Sergeant Pepper. Who, to whom am I speaking? Hi, Sergeant Pepper. This is Cam. Uh huh. You know, the kid with the camera. Oh, the one that, uh, Lombardi has. The one. Is that a pasta? <laughs> this Perry's last name, Cam. Oh! Okay, yep. <laughs> well, it's good record, talking I'm to you. Again in a small shroom. What's your status? Have you reached uh, Venom just, yet? Yeah, we just reached Venom. We're trying to figure out where best to start off on the planet in terms of figuring out what the Mies will be doing. Well, what do you what do your scanners say? Uh, what do my scanners say? <laughs> yeah, what do Gary's scanners say? <laughs> um, you start you start uh, scan uh, uh, scanning for life essentially, and um, you do have some uh, blips come up in like a specific sector. I don't know. It's kind of like northwest of uh, of where you are, essentially. Yeah, it's about what, 300k from the um, place and thing? Yeah, there's some blips over there. It's yeah. unusual. I'm not sure if y'all use miles or kilometers in this world, so I'm going to assume probably miles, right? Probably. I'm familiar with that conversion. Yeah, that works. Okay. <laughs> is that is that all you needed? I mean, if there's anything else you know about what the Mies are doing, that would be great. There was some more information that came in, actually. I'm kind of glad that you called. That's fantastic. I'm really glad that this didn't end up being a waste of a call. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it seems that the, um, the resurrection of Andros we hear has already succeeded. However, it's not confirmed. We, this is just allegedly one of the, uh, we intercepted one of the Mii's communication devices. And, uh, we heard that they used a plan B to, 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 res to resurrect Andros. So, we're not sure if that means that, that they actually resurrected Andros properly or if they just have his consciousness pulled up. Like, we don't know if this, if Andros is capable of anything, right? Because just, just a mind alone without, without a body is, uh, a, a little pointless. Uh, okay, that makes... body upon a bag. Sense? Okay. That's good info. Um, so, the, do you so, know who you intercepted exactly? No, uh, we we don't. We're not able to pinpoint that exactly. Although right, we figured I'd check. We're still trying to triangulate where the signal came from. Of course, it came from Venom, but we're trying to kind of pinpoint that down to uh, with some coordinates. And if we get that, we'll get back to you. 
I mean, we have coordinates for you. We just scanned the planet. Yes, go investigate those. That'll be a good lead to start off with. Okay. Uh, Perry, I will send them the coordinates that you just scanned out as well. So y'all can do whatever you want on your end, I guess. And hurry up before they give Andros a body. Sure. I'm going to close the the comms. Oh, and you one more, sure. and then you close the comms. Yeah, I said sure, and then close the comms. <laughs> and, yeah. no, you hear him no, say no. one more thing, and then it cuts off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! He said he had one more thing. Should I call that back? Probably one that important. It's okay. Yeah, you know what? It would be really awkward to call back, so probably not that important anyway. So. If it was so important, he would have led with it. He would have led with it. You to begin with. That's exactly. right. Exactly. I mean, That's wait a right. second. Wait a second. He didn't tell you about the the me thing until after you had to pry for it. Maybe it's important information. I'm sure it wasn't, and I don't need to start another awkward call. I don't really want to call him again either, though. To be honest. Yeah. I'll I mean, go that bullet for you. It's okay. Let's just go down the planet. Let's go down the planet. I don't know, Cam. I think you need to start another awkward call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll push the button and I go. <laughs> I fly right back into the vent that I was hiding in. <laughs> the call starts up again. I'm like trying to hang it up, but I have no idea which button I pressed earlier. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh, I hang up again. <laughs> <laughs> Just after Cam. I can't. I can't. Gonna... You're making it worse. It's so bad. So I'm like, gonna... the second call was bad enough. Now the third one, like <laughs> oh I'm not even real, and I know, I know this is so bad. I panicked. I panicked. Commander Shutter, this is the general. Of the entire Federation Space Force. <laughs> I just uh, uh, call him back. I, I walk away to go hide in the engines. That's where I go. <laughs> I go and hide in the engine room. Oh I, it's goodness. all right, kid. There's yeah, room over yeah, here for I'll, you. Bird I'll brain. Hit button. I'll, I'll hit the button. Hey, Perry, you do the talking. He ain't gonna want to talk to plastic. <laughs> hit the button. Yeah, hit the button. <gasps> Are you guys under attack or something? Are you okay? <laughs> the last guy kind of screamed. We're sending backup to your to your to your coordinates. That actually is a really good idea. Please send backup. There may have been some interference with the last communication I've yet to determine. However, one of the reasons why we wanted to call in the first place, and apologies for uh, not leading with, with what we determined is on the radar. We do suspect, as I mentioned, that this is related to the, the resurrection and revival of Andros. However, before we land and start investigating, I wanted to see if you knew of any other activity not related to Andros, so we're not investigating the wrong area, and tip them off that there's something going on, and start coming after us. If you've okay. not heard of anything, no worries, but if you think there's something to fear, then we'll do a further scout of the planet. Ninja, welcome man, hello! Ah, uh, well, huh, an excellent question. We're, we're, so far, we have, again, we're still trying to pinpoint the coordinates. If you'd like, if you'd like to wait to engage, uh, until we, until we pinpoint there, that, uh, where, where the calls have been coming from, you may, but, um, we do, we do know that they, that they are coming from Venom. And frankly, there's not really a, a reason for anything living to be on Venom unless they're coming for Andros's things. Great. I mean, Appreciate we're the Venom. We're on Venom. Oh, sorry. I'm not here. Mm -hmm. Are you guys done with Doc with with Sergeant Pepper yet? <laughs> Cam, did That's you say you have something worse. to say to General Pepper? Ah! <laughs> Stay in the. I... No, I'm not here. I must have missed her. That's all we need. I appreciate your time. Was there anything else you wanted to relay? Oh, yes, there was one more thing. 
I just wanted to say, stay safe out there. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate that to no end. So. Thank you! That's just what he wants us to think. He's trying to get us to lower our guards so we don't suspect him when he comes in with a bomb strike on our location, which we just gave him by making three calls because of you, kid. We'll provide Wait, are you in the engine room rise. with me right now? Party out. Yeah. I never left the engine room. I've just been hiding in, like, an event in the engine room. Just in case. I leave the engine room and I come back out <laughs> to the cockpit. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that. Okay, I'm getting back on to the scans and stuff. You should probably land. Okay. Yeah, landing sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Let me out on the planet. Let's go. Let's find this Andros guy. The atmosphere of the planet itself is completely surrounded by a green mist. And the atmosphere, the, the, the sky itself is this kind of like eerie green you see. It is just constantly foggy everywhere. The fog also is green. This is, this is because the, the gas is uh, poisonous. And you know, that's, that's, that's the gas's choice. The, the, the gas's favorite color. <laughs> and so the um poison's favorite color is green <laughs> smells like hot dogs out here i don't like it um yes old meat and yucky a hot, stuff. a hot what hot hot dogs <laughs> <laughs> I like hot dogs. I don't, I don't think I like them anymore. Not after smelling them rotten out here. Is that what it smells like? Like mashed up bits of meat and stuff. I don't like it. I don't trust them. <laughs> okay. <sighs> smells like freedom. Oh yeah, do you go oh, out without mom. without More a uh, without a helmet on? I am absolutely going out with a mask and oxygen tank if we're going out. I would like. Oh, I had to it first... pulled up when I first stepped out. I would like to first attempt uh, to go without any protective gear to see what happens. You go if out. It's going horribly wrong. And you find that you don't need to breathe. And the air isn't like corrosive, right? Because otherwise you need a full hazmat suit. It's just there's no oxygen and it's and it's toxic to breathe in. But since you don't breathe, you're fine. I so how do you look talk if you don't else. breathe? How same reason that I I don't know how I have arms. <laughs> I fair. don't know. It's fair. Oh, yeah, I had my mask like pulled up, like not at all properly on, like like lift, like <laughs> when I stepped out. Didn't like you are yet. gonna die. <laughs> you are going to be dead. Wait, yeah, did you inhale some? A little bit. If it tasted bad or anything, I fixed it and put my mask down like immediately. Oh. <laughs> yeah. How how bad is this about the beef? <laughs> Just like a little bit. Oh, we about the. Also, I'm a mushroom. <laughs> also, I'm a mushroom. <laughs> also, I'm a mushroom. <laughs> but this is how the the super mushrooms from Super Mario become the poison mushrooms from. Can I become a toxic shroom? <laughs> toxic shroom. <gasps> is that, that would be so. That would be so fitting. <laughs> what is the equivalent to like um, your constitution in this system? Physique? Physique? Natural uh, physique. Yeah, physique would be the same. Okay. Roll your physique then, Palm. Oh, no. I, uh, I'm gonna Just a mad lass. Just a mad lass. <laughs> I should. 
would using a fate point do me any good? <laughs> off of what aspect? Obviously off of my trust issues. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I Out don't my trust this because I've got in my, my system. Cape, it always is kind of like pulled up over my mouth a little bit, acting as like a semi-filter sort of situation. I, I would say... <clears throat> you can... Hmm. I think, I think you need to take a physical stress, but though... That's fair. But though you're you're going to uh, you you won't be taking additional stresses. You're not you're not like progressively Actually, taking more damage from the poison. Just fair. And our stress is cleared when we left the old planet, right? Like yeah. we we reset. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh, did it? Uh, uh, you, you're supposed. To, yeah. There's you guys each had like reasons in game that you were like clearing oh. out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Back at the Inkopolis. Yeah. Yeah, Inkopolis. And again, when yeah. we left Corneria, right? I don't no. think so. No. We didn't heal up no. after Corneria. No. Are you taking a consequence, Paul? No. I am taking my second stress. Oh, no. <laughs> it's fine. Oh. Yeah, so Cam walks out. He's got his mask and he's got an oxygen chain, but it has two hoses. One attaches to his mask, but the other one is attaching to Flashy, who is just mm. in a mask. Yeah, it's just wrapped. a mask floating in the air. That's like it's beautiful. With the hose. <laughs> We're just sharing our oxygen. It's fine. Yeah. You see, I didn't need one, and Flashy needed one. This is good. I mean, I want to check. There's not, like, any sort of corrosive properties to plastic from the gases or anything like that that we're seeing on Bob. Juju Smith has a good point in that there, it That's was a long-distance drive. If you w And there was there was the med packs that you did pick up. Yeah. So there was... There there. Is, you, but though you only have two total, right? The one you bought and the one that yeah. came with the ship. If you wanted to use one of those, you have the opportunity. However, that's up to you. I mean, you just took the stress now, so I don't see why you couldn't do it now. <laughs> yeah, if it was I think before, when I tasted that air is nasty, I'm like, yeah, let's get that out of the system. Yeah. Just kind of that out of there. Mm -hmm. You know what they say, Keep curiosity kills the player character. You're not wrong. It was worth learning. <laughs> I don't. Could have I don't trust toxic. GMs. I just don't naturally trust GMs. Typically, I'm like, <laughs> mm, what you gotta do? I gotta be ready. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm glad that I've given you every reason to not trust me. <laughs> You're not the only one. I've had a couple of GMs where I'm like, dang, they they coming out with all sorts of strategies. I gotta be prepped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting on venomous venomous Doug to appear. Oh. <laughs> why, did, why? Why did you say his name? Oh, the red light! Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's making it even worse. Okay, so we're on the planet. Cam? Uh, yeah? Perry? Uh, let's... Can you handle the portable scanner? Uh, sure. I will take the portable Excellent. scanner. There's a device of some kind that operates as a portable scanner. I also want to put that, um, what do we call it, EMP, smart bomb, in a, in like a backpack sort of makeshift satchel. Bring it with. Rest in peace, Burr. We miss you. pieces. Uh, what were you putting where? Hmm? Wanted to bring that EMP with in a satchel. You may. In case we need it. Uh, Goomsha, I'm pretty sure this is yours, and I hand her back her little sonic wow. bow. Thanks. You know, I'm kind of glad you didn't die out there. Hydrate. Thanks for the hydrate. 
Oui. Fantastique. Mm-hmm. Guys, don't well, touch any liquid. Oceans are made of acid. Oh, well, what's game. made of what around here? The Good to oceans know. and seas and lakes, it's acidic. Okay, now I'm taking an even closer look. Because if liquid on this planet is acid, it also means that portions of the atmosphere are acidic. I am taking a look at our plastic friend. Is he starting to melt anywhere? You're telling me the air is poison, the water's poison. What, is the ground going to swallow me or something? I guess it would depend on the humidity levels and if it has rained recently. So, um, let's get a straight luck check. Uh, Midwest, you want to do the honors? Sure. Hey, Cam, I'm going to remember the fact that you said, hey, DM. <laughs> The guy who's like fine right now, maybe not be fine right now. Maybe you should put it on him. here. I'm just I'm gonna saying. Remember that. I'm gonna remember it. I'm gonna remember this. It also means that the rest of us will not be fine. This fine. is very true. I'm fine. Oh, you're fine. Everything is good. I'm fine. Everything is awesome. Yeah, everything everything's is cool when you're part of the team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a full suit on. I don't care what anybody else says. I'm having a full suit nope. on. <laughs> oh, it's kind of so, like this planet is scaring me. I, I quickly turn to everyone. Do not base survivability off of me. I am the exception, not the rule. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that is where we can end today's. Can, sorry, there's one thing. Can I call the professor? I have a quick question for him. Oh, you may, you may. Yeah. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> ring, ring. Howdy, hey, how you doing today? Hey, Prof, it's Cam. Yo, my buddy, what's up? Yeah, buddy. Hey, quick question. <laughs> um, You know the arena things? The things that will just spawn our arena when we use them? Are you referring to blast zones? Yeah. Is there any chance that those also help in, like, us being able to breathe oxygen properly if there's a lack of oxygen? It won't create oxygen. It will dispel organic things. Well, no, it doesn't. It doesn't dispel anything because it doesn't quite activate until it fully envelops. So whatever's in just kind of stays in. Okay, I just wanted to check since we're on a super deadly poisonous and acidic planet. Thank you. What? Hi. <laughs> Hang on. See, Look, I wanted to see if we get into a. I, I wanted to see if we got into a fight if I could use flashy properly. I'm not going to be able to use Flash properly. <laughs> Has no one gotten bingo yet? I don't think anybody got bingo tonight. We Aww. haven't had too many uh, of the cool things happen today. True, that's true. Alrighty. Well, with that, I suppose that's where we will end today's session. Woo! Yay! Oh. Woo! Oh, Debian got in. Oh, it's about time. Let me get my proper gear on. <laughs> oh, 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 beautiful. Captain, you're back already? Uh, look, I can't act as taste all the time. It's very difficult. <laughs> I know we look somewhere. There we go. <laughs> Big dinner, what? buddy. Just got a baby. It's fine. <laughs> oh, I didn't feel that. Another hat already? Dang. Y'all are on top of the hats. Okay. Show's about to end. Gotta add the hats. Last chance. Many hats. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. This is about to go. Yes. Let's do it. All right.
Yes, and uh, before we go though, I want to give each of these players a little bit of a chance to like, you know, get, get to know them a bit and also give them a chance to plug, but also get to know them. And I want to hear from you guys in chat as well about, about your answers to this. If you could sing, if, no, sorry, if you had to, if you had to sing one song every time you're in the bath or shower for the rest of your life, have to sing it. What would that one song be? One shower song for the rest of your life? Yes. I've got it. You may. If there was a shower song I had to sing for the rest of my life, it would have to be Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. <laughs> yo ho, yo ho, ho, a pirate's life for me. Because, like, look, I'm a captain, I'm a carp. Pirates in my veins. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a pirate, but I am a pirate. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, hello, my name's Captain Carp. Today I played Taze Flips, who played Cam in this fantastic RPG. Uh, so... Yeah, Taze Flips is usually a guy on the internet that I know of. Uh, but I'm Captain Carp. You know me from such good things as Poke Quest, which I was the main protagonist, which I will be back as the main protagonist next month. <laughs> <laughs> and this is definitely not arrogance in any way, shape, or form <laughs> whatsoever. No, no, I was there. Uh, Captain Carp was, in fact, the star of the show. This is fact. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, I think Taze Flips probably has some sort of YouTube thing going. I don't know. He's mostly, like, a psychology student of some kind. I'm a pirate. I'm not a pirate. I'm a captain. Uh, somebody else go before I, uh, incriminate myself further. <laughs> Todacity saying in chat uh, that that his answer is who lives in a pineapple under the sea. Anyways, is that who? Uh, allegedly, allegedly, according to uh, if 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 the internet is to be trusted. Wait, do sponges live in pineapples? That's what, that's what I hear. Oh, I'll be danged. Huh. All right. I got one. Do it. It's a super basic answer, but I'll be honest, I've been screaming the song in the shower since I was like 12, and I still do to this day. <laughs> <laughs> it's just got a really like fun thing it does at the end. It's a super, it's... It's the other side of the door by Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I just really love the like final bridge of that song. It's really fun. And I, uh, I've seriously like i scream that in the shower weekly than i have for like a decade now so you know i don't know if i'm familiar with that like specific one path of trajectory it was never like a super huge one but it's got like a really fun little thing it does at the end it's like uh i don't know uh, i don't like to sing it but it's a. Uh, am just going to listen to it quickly right now <laughs> it, it takes a minute to get there but like the end is just like yeah Anyway, I'm Palm Tree Tries. I am a Zelda streamer, except today I decorated cookies on stream because variety is the spice of life. Um, and uh, that's all I got. Uh, I have a fun, friendly, happy, go lucky, good times, good vibes streamer. I stream most, a uh, lot of days, a lot of days, Wednesdays and Fridays, most reliably, <laughs> and Saturday mornings most of the time, and Tuesday mornings on occasion. Um, I wouldn't use the word reliable, night. but. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Listen. Anyway, uh -huh. thanks for having me. This is always a blast. I'm not as awful and evil as I seem on here, I promise. That's a really good song, by the way. I'm a pacifist. <laughs> yes. Um, Shoda Ninja in chat um, saying Chandelier by Sia. Good answer, good answer. And then uh, anyone... And, and, who, and Oh, I, sh I should also say um, from our question of the week last week on YouTube, we had some answers. Solid State giving his answer saying... Uh, and, and last week's question was if smell of vision were real, what video game would you want to smell? Um, and uh, Solid State saying on YouTube, uh, does magic smell? 
Uh, for unrealism and sheer experience, just smelling any game with magic, like or, or the uh, one of the one of the two new Zelda games, or or like just Minecraft cube sniffer. <laughs> um. Anyways, who else has an answer? I have one. Go ahead. Probably. <laughs> One song forever, huh? Wish you were this it would be boss. I'm on a boat by Lonely Island. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's the only song that I've heard a bunch of times that I have like tried to sing in the car and all that that I just haven't gotten tired of. So I'm like, you know what? That's a fun one. Let's do that. That is a That's fun good. answer. And who is you? Who is I? <laughs> I'm Super Jump. Where? I play Hollow Knight, and I try to not get hit when I do it. And I've been successful a set number of times. I've done 13 different hitless challenges within Hollow Knights, and I have branched off to other video game challenges as well. But that is my current specialty. So, yeah. Yes, indeed. Um, and then also on YouTube, with regards to last week's question, Smart Alec was saying uh, his strange answer is Skyrim, because... And there's there's a theme going on, you know. What does casting a, a spell smell like? Does it have a smell? Yeah. What does ma everyone seems to want to know what magic smells like? That's fair. And then uh, Gabe in the chat saying uh, cake explosion from Disney from the Disney show Milo Murphy's Law. Interesting. I'm not sure if I uh, if I'm familiar with that one. Milo Murphy's Law. Milo Murphy's. It's, thank you. Yeah, it's a more recent cartoon. Um, all right, and then, uh, I guess that, I guess that just leaves one, Midwest. I, I guess so. This question was designed to come at me, all right, because every, like, month or so, the song I sing in the shower to myself changes, because <laughs> I'm into, like, a new anime or something, right? And so I'm trying <laughs> to sing the opening of the favorite anime in... I mean, geez, Teus flips. You miss you. You miss the obvious one. It, it's I want to be the very best, like no <laughs> one ever was. Pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. I mean, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> to clean them is my real test. <laughs> <laughs> Remove stains is my cause. Like. You, each shower it changes to fit. It's good. <laughs> I feel like you should just go with the Pokemon 2000 rap then as well. I'm just, we'll just go with all the <laughs> intro theme songs. Just saying. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> all right, and, and, uh, and to answer the further questions, hi, I'm Midwest Dungeon Delver. I'm <laughs> a guy who streams, and uh. A lot of my stream has been taken over by Dragon's Dogma 2 that came out Thursday. And we had a great showing of support uh, over the past weekend. Thank you all so much for coming and supporting a game series that helped keep me alive back in 2016 because depression's a killer. Uh, but we don't talk about that. Either way, uh, come check out all our other stuff that we do when I'm not also streaming Dragon's Dogma, which will be a while. It's going to be a while before I stop streaming that because it's such a good game. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, but also, Six Sword Saga, just heads up, that is going to be taking a bit of a like hiatus as we go from live to pre-recorded. So we'll be seeing all of you when we start releasing our edited versions of those episodes. Thank you all so much for your continued support. Check out the YouTube, check out the merch store, and all that other good stuff. Nice. There you go. Uh, just to just admit, saying uh, the answer would be Without You by Ashes Remain. No, ooh, Very good. That's one I'm not Very familiar good. with, but I'll trust that that's a good one. All right. Oh, does that leave me? I guess that leaves me. Uh, unless... Unless there's something on, like, Spotify that I didn't get mentioned or something. I don't know. Spotify? Did anyone, did anyone say? 
For those on Spotify listening, at the end of the episode, there's the Q and A bit there. That is your chance to, uh, you know, get uh, put put in your um, like uh, answers to the question of the week. And those watching on YouTube, go down to the pinned comments and uh, give your and give your response. Give give us some interactions, interactions. All right, and uh, my answer. I know you've been waiting this whole time. My answer. So. This this started becoming my shower song in my first apartment because in my first apartment there was there was um, no like ceiling like fan that like you know took took the steam away um, so I had to crack open the window every time and so every single morning what would come up in my head is open up the dirty window let the sun illuminate the words that you cannot find reaching for something in the distance so close you can almost taste it release your inhibitions feel the feel rain, the on, rain your on your skin, skin. <laughs> and demonetized immediately <laughs> uh, <laughs> too good for adorable will and now the whole episode's it <laughs> It's a wash. Ah, so and like showers. <laughs> 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 Anyways, hi, I'm Fedorable Will. Oh, where's my schedule button? Stream schedule. You guys can see the bottom right of my schedule. I do, I do Nintendo games. I do uh, tabletop RPGs. I do a variety of DIY and other games. Um, but those are the main things. Uh, you can find me here on the Twitchies, and also you can find this podcast as a podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. Woo! Ah. With that, players, any closing thoughts? Remember, always seek out the booty. <laughs> and don't trust him. He's he's not wrong. Goom, should we go run that fade? I didn't forget. What? I didn't forget. We going around. You two thing. have to fight soon. I said you couldn't take a punch last week. You took great offense to that. We'll deal with and that later. We were... No, we go around the fade. Don't worry. <laughs> All run the fade. You never heard that? No. Oh. Is that what it, is that what you're saying? I'll look it up. I mean, yep. that that is. Hi, I'm uncultured. No, I, I one don't... of us is getting knocked out. One of I us honestly is... don't made it away. Either. Yeah, I, I... that that went over my head. Yep, run the fade. One of us is fading away. Ah. All right, all right. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty, let's figure out who to raid. For those of you watching on the Twitch side of Thingy Mabobbers. Now, if you love someone, you tell them the truth. And boy, how do I love you guys. So here's the truth that can be found over in Proverbs 14. Four. Why does that still say 13.3? Hold on. Why did that not refresh? Why did that not refresh? Uh -uh. Fresh. There we go. 14.4. Where there are no oxen, the manger is empty, but an abundance of crops comes by the strength of an ox. Ah, another translation says, where, where there are no oxen, the manger, the manger is clean, but an abundance of crops comes by the strength of an ox. So, that's our truth time for today. That's all the time that we have for today. Let's go and share the love and hype with our amazing friend Todd Astity. Make sure you have that raid message copied. I love you all. Bye.